What's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and musician of a few years now. And today I'm going to show you how to make your synthesizer wobble. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a synthesizer wobble. This is a really easy way to, um, well, I'm going to show you the easy way to make a bass wobble just to get you up and going for wobbleness. Maybe you're trying to make some dubstep or something like that. Anyway, I have a, I have Pro Tools open and I do have a instrument track open here. So if you want to do that, go ahead and get that set up. But if you're working in something else, just go ahead and open up a software instrument, uh, a synthesizer. Okay, so I'm going to go to my inserts and I'm going to go to my plugins and instrument and I'm going to look for the synthesizer vacuum. That comes built with Pro Tools. So if you have Pro Tools, you can follow along exactly. Okay, and I'm going to choose a preset, a bass preset, because we're going to look for that bass wobble, right? And I think I was playing with something earlier. Was it super basic? I think that was it. And um, I have a key, a MIDI keyboard in front of me, so... Oh yeah, it's nice and low. So if you, if you, if you can't hear that frequency... Let's use this frequency. If you can't hear that, and maybe you're playing it off of computer speakers, um, you might want to get like some headphones or, or a nice pair of speaker monitors or something like that. Something that can actually reproduce the low frequencies if you can't if you can't hear that frequency right now. Because sometimes um, computer speakers they're so small they they can't really get the low end correct. But anyway. Uh, let me show you how to wobble. It's really, really easy. And one of the quickest and easiest ways I'm going to show you is adjusting the mod wheel. Okay, and if you look at the synthesizer here, we have the pitch wheel and the mod wheel, and then we have the um, uh, the MIDI keys here. See, I can control them by clicking. Although I do have a MIDI keyboard present in front of me, which I highly prefer, and I'd highly suggest you um, using a MIDI keyboard. But anyway, the mod wheel is what adjusts the um, the wobble, and the wo what creates a wobble is the is the modulation, and th what the mod wheel does. The mod wheel right now is at zero. So when you turn it all the way up to 127, that means you're letting the modulator um, mess with the the signal with the original signal which is just the oscillator so when the modulator is at zero that means the oscillator is just going to have a consistent sound there will be no vibration there will be no wobble but once you move it up it it'll get more intense more intense more intense and obviously at 127 is the most uh intense but i'm going to adjust that by not clicking it um i'm going to use the mod see how it's moving because I'm moving my mod wheel on my MIDI keyboard. But let's take a listen and um, and take a take a look at the mod wheel, all right? Okay, so that's what a lot of DJs use um, to basically make their wobble and from sliding it from up and down. And you can definitely record that wobble as well. And you can definitely fine tune um, using all the settings inside of the synthesizer, but that would that that's definitely for another video. But all right, guys, thank you guys so much. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it and how to make your synthesizer wobble. If you do have any other questions, please let us know. And thank you for watching.